30,000. This is going to be worth a lot of money. And again, this is one month. Last time we sold this many, or the, the last time we emptied this spawn point was uh, February 3. And we are done. I could sit around. Whatever. it is. So 38,000 litres of milk in approximately one day, or one game day, one month. And how much, what's the production for that? Uh, butter. 30 units makes 26. Uh, It is what it is. Okay, let's close that door. And head off back to the market. So as I said, this is uh, this is a hugely valuable commodity and we are producing an absolute ton of it. So keeping the cows happy is incredibly important because any month that we are not producing milk is a month that we are draining the on-hand supply of milk at the dairy and I can't afford for that to happen because if we're not making milk money then we've got a problem and we need to rely on at least some income to purchase bales during the winter if we get short of food. <clears throat> so the plan going forward is I am going to top up the, uh, the robot food service. Um, not buy any mineral feed until we are no longer able to cut grass for the year. So December will buy mineral feed and allow the robot to keep the food topped off. Actually, we'll just sit behind this guy. And then, uh, obviously, we'll see how things work out. But if the worst comes to the worst, I can... Um, I can buy the smaller bales at the store. And maybe next year we'll look at making our own maize silage and grass silage. <coughs> so we don't have to spend the money during the winter. And that is done. 38,000 money. And that was Jaden84102. Welcome to the stream. Hope your Saturday is going well. Uh, I probably need to close the doors there. And that was a goodly amount of money. 30, as I said, about 30,000, was it? 40,000 nearly. So, uh, no, nope, that's not the thing. That's also not the thing. Money. Sold animals. 37, I made 37,000 selling animals. That's awesome. Um, sold products. 40,000. And uh, that probably, I'm guessing that's the. Um, Uh, what is it? The environmental's bonus, possibly? But, yeah, as I said, we make about 40000 per month 
selling tomatoes and um, butter. Um, reason I went with butter is it's a little bit more. Um, it's when you do the math, it's worth more ch more than cheese. Um, and if you make both butter and cheese, it uh, you only make half the maximum amount of butter and half the maximum amount of cheese. So I just keep going. Yeah, I just decided we'll do butter. Plus, we've got the limitation that this truck will only do, or will only store one thing at a time on the back. And we just went airborne. I can't see where I'm going. Well, we lost that car. Ugh. But yeah, um, if the truck could handle two products at the same time, we could do butter and cheese and sort of average out the value of the product over the year. But since this truck will only take one at a time, I figured, yeah, we're probably best off um, just producing one and butter is marginally more valuable than cheese plus if you want to you can use it at the bakery if you've got a lot of other stuff like sugar and flour blind turn yay okay so next month will be uh, March, April. So April 1, I'll be able to do some more planting. That's good. As I said, we want to do sorghum. We'll stick this in this shed here. Turn the engine off and jump out and fix the truck and fix the box okay you're good box did not disconnect okay so we have a couple of tractors here I want to see uh, don't need to buy a seed until next month so we're good with that I can't cut the grass until next month we're good with that how much food does the cows have um, 194 okay so we've sold all the perishables honey is not a perishable going to drop that back to seven o'clock because we're going to have to do some seeding and so I need to buy a cedar I need to buy oh great demand at the supermarket that's nice that is I did see I was watching someone else who was uh, commenting on that um, find out the value of a thing um, okay so there's a great demand at the supermarket what for You have to look at everything. Don't know, don't know. Um, cotton, no, no. Not that. Wool, not that. Milk, not that. So something is blue at the supermarket, but you have to work your way through everything in order to find out exactly what you can sell there on the great demand raisins no grape juice no lettuce tomatoes strawberries chocolate don't 
you can sell manure and slurry down there. And maybe it's already over. Who knows? Oh, there's some more things. Oh, yes, those are all the uh, um, stuff from the Platinum expansion. But nothing, I didn't notice anything showing a blue arrow for the uh, supermarket, so I have no idea what to sell. But you have to look at every single product in order to see which one's blue. That's crazy talk. Um, so price fluctuations, we're still looking at June for the best price. Um, okay. June for the best price, it is April. Let's go and have a look at store sales, please. Let there be a thing. That's nice. What's that? That's a square baler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is, is they're 195, so I've only got one tractor that can haul that. That is a disc harrow. 350 horse. I've got a tractor that can haul it. And it's 10 meters wide. 48,000. But really what we're looking for is a cedar. So that's what we are going to look for. So that needs a cultivator. That does not need a cultivator. That does need a cultivator. That doesn't. It's eight meters. That is eight meters and does. Oh, no, we can't use that. Two forty horsepower. What's my tractors? Uh, the Fent has two twenty eight. So we would be using the John Deere. Uh, but I would have to borrow money to use that one. Now, where's that? Uh, cedars. So again, that's a good cedar. It does seed, it does fertilize, but I have to borrow money and I can only use it behind the John Deere. Uh, this one, I can only use behind the John Deere is a lot narrower, 8 meters, what's that one? Oh no, that is 8 meters. Um, this one only does seeding. Um, but I don't have to borrow any money for it. This one again, 6 meters, does seed and fertilizer, 270 horsepower, much more than that. And this last one, I could use behind the, uh, the fent, Six meters does seeding and fertilization. Four thousand liter tank, six meters. <sighs> I added that in because there was the possibility I could end up using it. <clears throat> but it's been a f it's been a year since we used this, so maybe we buy the Vaderstat. I kind of like that idea. Gonna have to run it behind the John Deere. The John Deere has a weight on the front, that's fine. So, um, I'm gonna take the license plate off. And 159,500 by the thing. And, oh, um, what we need to do is not that one, that one. <clears throat> Run over here and see if we have any seed on site. That would be, we have a thousand litres. Yeah, that's not going to go very far. So the thing is, is because we've got this thing here, um, 
Um, I'm thinking I could modify that to have a weight on the front, um, which means it can then go on the front of the John Deere. We could plant and seed at the same time, because I've heard that that particular problem has been fixed. I'm going to keep the weight on the front of this. And we're going to go down and pick ourselves up a big cedar, which folds and crash into a car because it doesn't fold. You can stay there. Dodge Magnum, or whatever you are. So, we'll run down to the store, we'll pick up our new cedar. We now only have 6,500 money. However, once we have done planting, uh, I could look at... Oh, we've also got to cut the grass. That's another thing. Um, and I didn't look at the cows. Okay. I think we'll get to the store, we'll look at the cows. bit uneven going through here okay let me so I want three big bags of seed that's disastrous and I was going to look at the cows food levels the cows are down to 120. They were at, was it 180? I don't know, 60,000 a day. That's kind of bad, because if I do fuzzy math, that's about 200,000 liters of food that the cows eat in a calendar month. But at least this month we have we have a field that we can mow. So and I'm gonna figure out where my uh, where my new fields are. Anyway. First things first, get the cedar loaded up and then figure out what we're going to do with it. <coughs> I could look for contracts, but it may be a better idea to wait till April 2 before we actually do contracts. Because then that leaves me, I've got all the day to do the contracts. It does mean we're not going to get any income today. And that might end up as a little bit of a problem, maybe. We're also going to have some weeds on our fields that we're planting as well, that we're going to have to take care of tomorrow. No, April, May, May 1. So we don't have to worry about weeds until next month. And fertilizer. Alrighty, we now have big size cedar with oh, I've that's close enough. Let's get that loaded. So we'll have the store manager load that up while we look for what am I looking for? Um, contracts. That's here. So, fertilizing contracts, sowing contracts. Um, sorghum, corn, soybeans, sorghum, soybeans, sorghum. So there's a bunch of sorghum and soybean contracts we could do with this thing. 
Spraying is spraying herbicide on a bunch of fields. We can do that with the fen, not a problem. I do not have a weeder. So, uh, that would be something I would have to purchase. Now, were I going to do that, I would probably purchase a hoe. Weeders. And we do have these here. Um, don't know if that's a hoe. That's small grown weeds. So that's a small... These are hoes and they pull out small and medium weeds six and a half meters six meters six meters and six meters and they are all within the massey ferguson's um, power capacity and something i did want to look into is possibly buying a hoe and seeing if we get better yield than using herbicide. Okay, that's done. But I haven't... It's, it's not something I've decided to do, do completely, but we do know that because of direct seeding, uh, we are always going to end up with um, medium weeds. We are never going to see small weeds on our fields. Okay, pretty sure the first field is next to the dairy. The other one I think is across the road from our main farm. I'm going to take the old skid steer and its um, pallet fork over to the arable farm as well so that we can empty pallets into the storage facilities there. <coughs> and, oh. oh, we need to set up for sorghum too. Oats, canola, soybeans. Is that sorghum? Who knows? All right. Get past the tree. should wipe the seeds out. Uh, we'll do the old millennial farmer trick and go see what's happening back here. So we have weeds, we have needs, ro oh we don't have a roller, well that sucks. Um, it is cross organ though. We have perfect pH, we have less than ideal nitrogen, so we are going to spray later. I don't have a roller. I was going to buy a roller. Which means I might need to borrow some money. Because over the winter I sold our roll a roller, our mulcher, our baler wrapper, and something else. And our cedar. Um, sold the cedar because it doesn't fold and it is it was getting a little bit annoying trying to get it round the country lanes on this map 
in an unfolded state because of the uh, the traffic. So that was a deal. Pro that was a problem. And then the roller and the mulcher. I figured we could get bigger ones. And I figured I wasn't going to need them until I had uh, harvested next year. But then we bought three new fields. One is established barley. So it is what it is. We'll be harvesting that when it's ready. And the other two had nothing in them. So I figured, well, I can't plant them in the fall because there wasn't enough time. So um, we're planting them right now. is good and sorghum makes flour so flour is a good thing for us to have now this thing does have the uh, the row markers. I found once you get to about eight meters, the row markers do actually work fairly well. And it, it's a matter of lining up the front of the tractor with the the mark from the previous row. Um, the issue we've had with smaller equipment is there's just no there's no room for a margin of error. So if you've got a three meter CD, your row is marking one and a half meters off the side. And typically it's marking, you know, the, uh, oh, what's it called? The, the accuracy of the graphics. It's difficult to line up because the row is wider than the precision you need. With an eight meter cedar, the, the, the precision you need is significantly less. So lining up on a, a thick, you know, a thick row is is actually fairly easy. And this tractor is just capable of turning in eight meters. And I think that that was the issue we had way back in Farm Sim 17 on Lawfolds. We had a, a Class Act CN930 